friends and welcome back to Real Life on Social Security. So I finished with my hair cut and um, I put a little spike gel on it and um, I mean I think it's cute. You know I'm not an, an expert at cutting my own hair or anything but I like it. I'm gonna um, you know some little dangly earrings and lipstick and it looks pretty good don't you think? Thumbs up. <laughs> But, of course, I would have rather have gone to a salon, but, I mean, that's what this video is about, is, um, you know, how you have to really struggle if you don't save and prepare for your retirement. Um, you know, you just never know in life what's going to happen. Um, you know, when I married John, of course, he was my second husband, and I thought that we would be married forever, and that we would both work at a job, and build up a pension, and some savings, and... You know, that's just not how life worked out for me. You just never know. You know, you might have a monkey a monkey wrench thrown in there or something. So, um, for all of you young people out there, all of my young subscribers, you know, um, just start saving. I just want to tell you to, you know, max out your 401k. Um, you know, put as much as the government will let you put into it every year to save. Max out your IRA. Uh, just do everything that you can to save and prepare for your retirement because you don't want to be like me. You know, I'm 66 years old. Um, of course, I love living in my studio. I even if I had a million dollars, I would probably still live here. I mean, you can't beat a good landlord like John, can you? So I do love my studio and I do love my life. But there's some little simple pleasures that, that I would like to be able to afford and, and I can't. Um, of course, y'all know now that my YouTube channel has been monetized, and it's running ads, and I know that y'all are watching the ads and helping me to be able to um, acquire a little revenue by making YouTube videos, and I want to thank you for that. But I, I just want y'all to be aware and um, know that I am concerned about you, I care about you, and I love you, and I want you to have a better quality of life than what you know, I'm living as far as my finances are concerned. Um, yesterday I did have to go um, stand in line at the church at the food pantry. Um, I was going to make a video of it, but I was afraid I'd be accused of being racist <laughs> because um, unfortunately most of the people in line, um, you know, they're, they're black. Uh, uh, we have a big Haitian population here. And, you know, they are hard workers. They're, they're taxi drivers. They're, they're housekeepers. You know, they, they work so hard, and yet they still have to stand in line and wait for food. But, um, you know, I, I just decided not to, to make a video of it because the last time I made a video with, um, you know, that had black people standing in line, I was accused of being a racist, and I'm not a racist. So um, I thought, well... Um, I'll just show y'all one day some of the food that I got, and it was great. I got a pizza, I got um, a bag of onions, I got a head of cabbage, I got cauliflower. So, you know, it's it's a really good food pantry, and I thank the good Lord, you know, that uh, he puts his um, his Christian people there to, um, to give this food to us who need it. But um, I just, you know, wanted to get back on here and do another little Social Security uh, living on Social Security video. And y'all, please give me a thumbs up and just keep on coming back. Bye now.